Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at the vocoder effect uh, within Audacity to create sort of like a robotic voice. And more or less, I just want to do this tutorial to show you some things that we haven't yet covered in Audacity. Um, we're going to be working with tracks and mono tracks. Um, but if you just want to create the robotic voice, Audacity actually isn't the best tool for that, at least not this vocoder plugin or effect. But what you can do, I'll include this link here to this GitHub address, GitHub address for uh, this vocoder um, sort of tool that this guy uh, wrote up, Chris Wilson. It's really, really awesome. And so here's the license for it. It's actually it's uh, some sort of open source. I was reading through. You can read through the license and see um, the uses for it. But basically, um, it's really cool, and we can check it out here. This is like what it sounds like. So you can you can actually imp upload your own uh, input file, or we can talk into it live, like we can do this. Hello, testing. This is TJ Free. So that's cool. Oops, how do we stop this? <laughs> uh, all right, close out of that. Anyway, so I'll include the link to that. If you, if if you're just trying to if you're just wanting to do that, then cool. You don't need to keep watching this video. But if you keep watching this, you're going to learn some things about Audacity you might not have known before. So we're going to try to use Audacity to create that same effect. So first of all, we need to read in some audio. So to do that, I'll just record. This is some audio that will make sound like it's a, a robotic voice. Ooh. All right. Oh, and I lied. First of all, let's actually go to uh, tracks and we'll go add new because we want this to be a mono track which means there's not a left and a right channel it's just a single channel this audio will be in a robotic voice okay so we just have a single channel now if yours is two do what I did and hit the X there to delete that that track and then go to tracks add new mono track okay then in addition to this we need to have what's called a carrier so this is like a carrier uh, audio or carrier wave that we're going to kind of mix together with this audio recording to create the vocoder effect, the robot robotic voice effect. So we're going to generate, like we've done in the past tutorials, we're just going to generate a tone. And we can try some different ones. So this sawtooth is pretty good. Um, I'm going to take this frequency down to maybe 240, and we'll take the amplitude. Amplitude's fine. Let's try this. Oh, whoops, control Z. We need it to be on its own track. So let's add another track in here for another mono track, and then we'll do that. So we go generate, and then we go tone 240. That should be good. And then we'll see how this sounds. Whoa, oh my goodness, that's terrible, right? So that's super high pitched. Apologize about that. Let's um, let's take this, we could, we could generate it differently, but let's just come here and we'll just slow the speed like super, super down. Okay, so that speed's been slowed down now, and now if we play it, it might not be quite as quite high-pitched. This audio will be in a robotic voice. Okay, perfect. This is like, this audio. This is actually very low. I'm gonna click over here. If we do control I, it'll cut this portion. We can just delete that. And then this, click up here, control I, kind of just cuts the clip wherever we're at. I'll double click and delete. So now we have two clips that are about the same length. We want to make one the left channel, so we'll make our voice out of the left. We'll make it be the left channel. We'll make this carrier wave be out of the right channel. And then when we play each one solo, this should be playing out of the left ear, left speaker or left ear of your headphones. This audio will be. And then this should be playing out of the right ear of your headphones. This audio. Oh, down here. If we go solo. Perfect. And I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This carrier wave is actually a lot slower than I had intended for it to be. But we'll see how this sounds. Um, all right, so we take it off mute now. And then we need to actually combine these together so that it's one audio. Instead of two separate tracks, we want it to be one stereo track. To do that, we go up to, well, first of all, we have to select them both. So we go to Select. And then we go to Tracks. And we go In All Tracks. That selects both of these. And then we go to tracks resample oh i'm sorry no we don't we go to tracks mix and then we go to mix and render and now look it just changes this so now they are just all they're just one track a left channel and a right channel and then if we play it this audio will be in a robotic voice we still have the 
what do we do? This in the left and this in the right, but it's just all together now. And now what we do, we select the whole thing by double clicking. It'll select both channels since they're all in one track. And then we just go to effects and vocoders all the way down here. Just click if you're, unless maybe you can see it if you have higher resolution than I do in this video. And then click on vocoder. And then here's where we can change the settings for this. So right now I'll just hit preview and see how it sounds. So that's not too bad. By default, I had already played with this a little bit. If we go back to, to defaults, this is what it might sound like for you. See, so that's like really, um, you can hardly hear what's going on there. Maybe we'll turn, we'll keep this up. So we just wanna play around and see if we can get something to change here a little bit. That carrier wave's really throwing us off. So it sounds like we're super way down in like a tunnel. I think we wanna do something like this more. Try this. So what this is actually really doing, just so you know, so it's, it's taking this wave and it's applying it. Oh wait, did, did that, oh, it didn't apply the effect, but we were, we were, we were doing it. So let's go back to vocoder, let's select everything, go to vocoder. So I was just preview, I didn't, I didn't apply, but if we hit okay, it'll actually, what it does, it'll actually merge those together. So we start to see these patterns here. See these patterns of these spikes? We're seeing these patterns happen everywhere where every time our carrier wave had a spike. And so it's actually creating kind of this effect. Anyway, that's the way the vocoder works. And so you can play around with it, but your carrier wave adjusting that is gonna change a lot how it sounds. And that's what that website and that web tool does much better than Audacity is it just has much more dynamic input. So you can create the same sound in Audacity. It just won't be nearly as quickly because you can't use those sliders and drag and drop and do it instantly with live audio. So that other, that other tool is a much, much better resource. But I just want to teach you how to do it in Audacity anyway so that you can learn how to do that. Uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, go ahead and like, link, share some. If you create something using that vocoder tool, I'd love to see like what you share what, or what you create. So go ahead and share that in the comments below. And uh, hope to see you in a video soon.